So the, the person that's been overcloaked, would they act differently and, you know, become, you know, seeing, seeing you're overcloaking them, that person would be thinking differently and acting differently to their family and, and probably people can't say, you know, what's wrong with him today? He's, he's like someone else. Totally. But for many of us, it's been happening for such a long time that they just think it's a normal part of your personality. That's yeah. not actually you. Like they might be um, called schizophrenic or something like that. That's even. correct. Yeah, often it's called uh, uh, an illness of some kind. But, but for many, it's not even noticeable in terms of there, are, there is a sympathetic attraction between the person who is or near awake who is awake and the person who's in the sleep state overcloaking the person who's awake and as a result sometimes the people around them know that something's different that something's you know they're not connected or something's different but but they don't really know what's up and they start over a period of time you know what it's like over a period of time you just accept it don't you you just accept that's what it's like so so there's nothing else to do uh, just behind pete if we go so AJ, does that mean that I could be now somebody else listening to you and it's not really me that's it listening to you and I'm not interested in listening to you really? It's a possibility, but at the moment that's not the case for yourself right now. But it certainly is the case for some others in the audience right now. Because my heart's just beating ten to the dozen over that thought. Yeah. It's amazing really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just go behind with the mic, straight behind you. Uh, like if you have to, if you meet somebody and you think you know that person, is that you might have overclocked that person in this? Um, you've o you've obviously had something to do with that person in your sleep state. Yeah. Yeah. And and there's all sorts of things you could have had to do with them. You could could have just had a chat with them. You yeah. could have just met up with them somehow and then planned the meeting in your awake state. There's all sorts of things you can do. Some of which are malevolent and some of which are benevolent and some of which are in the grey area in between those two states. All right. So there's a lot of things that happen in your sleep state. Yep. You yep. just can. Okay. Thanks. If we go to Peter. 